I am Dave Cross. This is how to make something smaller in Photoshop CS6. Now there's two ways we can interpret making something smaller in Photoshop. One is making the entire photograph smaller. So take an 8x10 and make it a 4x5 for example. The other possible way we can make something smaller is when you have something on a separate layer and you want to make just that one object smaller. And we'll see how to do both of those right now. So first of all let's talk about I have a photograph and it's too large. I want the overall photo and everything in it to be smaller. The way we do that is from the image menu we go to image size. And in here there's a number of options. It's going to show you the current size. In my case this is 6 by 4 approximately or I can also look at it in pixels. And I want to make sure that resample image down here is checked. That's how I tell Photoshop make it smaller. And let's just use pixels here. Let's say I want it to be 800 pixels instead of 1200. Now you'll see it's telling me the file size has gone down and will also make it smaller. When I click OK it finishes doing that scaling and now you can see it's a smaller version. Now typically if I was going to do this I would now use a command like save as to save a smaller version while still preserving my original. Now the other option is what if I have something on its own layer and I want to make just that smaller. And I do that by using a command called free transform. So we find that under edit, free transform or we could use the keyboard shortcut command or control T. And when I do that you'll see it has little handles now outside my object. If I hold down the shift key to keep it proportional I can scale it down by I. But if we look up in the options bar you'll see there's also the option to scale it by percent. In either way, in either case when you're happy then once again you press the commit button like we always do in Photoshop to tell Photoshop I'm finished and now we've made both the overall image smaller as well as this one layer smaller. Now remember whenever using image size we're always using that to make the image smaller versus larger and also remember when using free transform hold down that shift key to keep things proportional.